Hey, so in this video, we're gonna talk about if you should pick X or LinkedIn for your personal brand. So obviously, if you are going to be building on both at the same time, this video may not apply to you, but you could still probably get a lot out of which target market you're gonna hit on each platform. So at our agency, we just started introducing LinkedIn in 2024. Previously, for the past few years, my agency, we've built specifically personal brands on X. So I have a good idea of what both entail, which market both uh, you can hit, and which one you should choose if you're going to be picking a platform to start building your personal brand on. So X is interesting. X is really like the everything app. Uh, you can be posting video, full-length podcasts. If you already follow me, you see that I post full-length podcasts on there. We're jumping on spaces. Uh, you can do a lot of replies for growth, tweets, threads, posts, etc. cetera. Uh, whereas LinkedIn, much lower volume, a little bit more um, professional, more adequate posting, better grammar, all that stuff. It's kind of like the vanilla X. I think LinkedIn's really good if you want to do lower volume, more professional think pieces, maybe even a little bit longer. Um, like for example, on LinkedIn, a good cadence really is to post once a day, sometimes even less. Uh, whereas on X, you know, we're posting 28 times a week for clients. And me personally, I'm tweeting like five to 10 times a day sometimes. And this is a good platform if you can keep up with that heavy volume. Typically you see a lot more younger generation on X and a little bit more of the older generation on LinkedIn, but it's a lot more nuanced than that. So obviously if your decision-making process is gonna be uh, what kind of cadence for content can I upheld, uphold, like how many posts a day can I actually keep up with consistently, then that's gonna be a good deciding factor. LinkedIn, you know, it's gonna be like one times a day, whereas X, you know, let's just call it three times a day. So that's really the cadence. So if you're gonna make your decision based on how much you're gonna post, X uh, will be the place to be if you can uphold a lot of content where LinkedIn's a little bit lower. That being said, the good thing about posting more, so you might be thinking, oh, well obviously I wanna to go to lower hanging fruit where it's one times a day. That's not necessarily true. When you only post one time a day, you give yourself a much lower chance of actually catching the algorithm going viral and growing. Whereas at three or four or five or 10 times a day on X, you're giving yourself a much higher chance of not only catching the algorithm, but networking with more people, engaging with more of your audience, etc. So honestly, the growth on these is relatively equal in my experience. Uh, I'd say LinkedIn, if you have a good network that you can engage with and kind of create these like engagement pods, LinkedIn is really good for organic growth. You can easily get 50, 100, 200 followers a day uh, if you have a really good network, but even, even less than that, if you're taking advantage of some of the other growth hacks, which I can make another video on, you can get pretty good growth here. Whereas X, uh, it can be a bit of a grind, especially posting a lot, but I've seen pretty ballistic growth for certain types of people and certain types of content, which again, we can cover somewhere else. Um, but again, this is the good content cadence for here. So next we're gonna talk about target market. So target market on X, you have a combination of B2C and B2B. I'd say B2C is probably the higher uh, percentage of the users. X you see a lot of, especially if you're watching this and you've been on X a lot, and if you were back in the Twitter days, X has a huge B2C market, uh, sports fans and celebrity people who are keeping up with news and politics, etc. Uh, but even in like the business space, there's a lot of young entrepreneurs, startups, a lot of building public, documenting your journey kinds of people. There are definitely B2B people. I personally built my agency all on X uh, through cold DMs and networking and referrals and stuff like that. So for two years, I, I strictly built B2B. So like I said, there's definitely a market for B2B. That being said, it's not really known for B2B. I'd say X has a lot of lurking higher executives, a lot of lurking entrepreneurs, um, people who are a fan of Elon, uh, a lot of software engineers, a lot of a lot of SaaS people, a lot of no code people, huge AI community. Uh, if you're familiar with like EAC, which is the like Beth Jezos community, it's kind of a the AI accelerator techno community that's really big on X. So very nuanced, of course, and I wish I could give you a flat out answer, but again, there's a combination here. Definitely a higher percentage of B two B, B two C, but there's definitely a little bit of both. So obviously LinkedIn. So I go B two B. And then I take it a step further. I don't want to say B2B and then a little bit of B2C. It's really B2B and like nine to fivers. So obviously the two types of people on LinkedIn are going to be businesses. If you've ever been on LinkedIn, you've gotten the sales navigator messages of endless people trying to sell you on stuff, especially if you're watching this and you're a business owner. 
there's also a lot of nine to fivers, people uh, looking for jobs, people hiring for jobs, uh, people who are recruiters, uh, people doing outbound sales. So there's a ton, a ton of nine to fivers. So there's definitely a lot of eyeballs there. Um, the level of consumption that they're putting out is a little bit less. Like they're not just going on LinkedIn to scroll and consume content. A lot of times they're, again, looking for jobs, uh, doing outbound sales, stuff like that. But there is a good amount of nine to fivers and we have clients who target nine to fivers or getting a good amount of leads through LinkedIn once they get over like the 5,000 to 10,000 follower range. But definitely B2B is definitely the main source for, for LinkedIn. Uh, if you're targeting higher level executives, this is also a great place to be. Uh, if you're gonna be putting out more kind of cookie cutter, not necessarily cookie cutter, but more structured content, more professional content, LinkedIn is also very good. LinkedIn is also really good for storytelling. I'm starting to see it kind of come down a little bit from this high horse professional attitude. There's definitely a little bit more casual posting nowadays, nowhere near as much as uh, Twitter. And like, for example, if you're gonna be posting memes and, and funny stuff and anything like that, obviously Twitter is your place for you, but LinkedIn is definitely uh, toned down a little bit and become more of a consumption platform. Um, both of these platforms, I'm gonna put a play button. Both of these platforms, are really starting to push video. I'd say Twitter probably wins here if you're gonna be doing video. Mr. Beast is posting full length video now. Joe Rogan just signed a deal that allows him to push uh, full length video. Uh, obviously Tucker Carlson is exclusively on X, so video is definitely ahead of the game on X, but LinkedIn I know is gonna be pushing it soon and Gary Vee talks a lot about LinkedIn and the organic growth. So that's another thing that's really good. Um, I'd say if you're gonna be doing outbound, so the last thing I wanna cover is DMs. DMs is definitely on the side of Twitter. If you are a young entrepreneur, which is most people watching this are either young or early stage entrepreneurs, X definitely has the better platform for outbound messaging. Uh, it's essentially limitless. There's calling now, um, there's voice notes. There's so many things you can do here. And there's so many things that you can do. Uh, there's a lot of uh, supporting softwares for X that allow you to do outbound messaging really well and inbound messaging. So we definitely make more money for our clients on X. Uh, whereas LinkedIn, again, is more professional with the DMs and there's also a much lower volume. I know with like Sales Navigator, you get a very limited amount of connects and outbound messages using in-mail uh, and stuff like that. And there's definitely different tiers. It costs more money on LinkedIn. But obviously, if you're, very, if you're targeting a very specific kind of company, like if you're targeting a high-end software company or have a really dialed in ICP, which is your ideal client pro, uh, prospect or profile, um, LinkedIn might be the place for you if you know exactly who you're targeting. But for me, when I started and I was building my agency in 2022, I was very much taking the blitz approach. So DMs were definitely better on X because I could just shoot out hundreds a day uh, to so many different entrepreneurs because we're a personal branding agency and it was much better on X. So I hope this helped you made your decision. Uh, me personally, obviously bullish on X, but like I said, we introduced LinkedIn for our agency this year. So I definitely am also bullish on LinkedIn. Um, shout out Gary Vee for kind of pushing a lot of the LinkedIn content. I don't know if he's getting paid for it, but uh, LinkedIn was definitely something that I was considering for a long time, uh, but it seemed like a very low hanging fruit because the content we're posting here three, four times a day is much is very easily repurposed to LinkedIn. So. If you take anything away from this, uh, we always push. Uh, we always push to pick a platform to start on. I started on X for you know two three years and then started pushing on LinkedIn and YouTube and stuff like that. But if you're gonna go omni channel, um, I would always use X as kind of like the core for the content, and then you can very easily repurpose it over here. Because if you only have one times a day here, which is only seven total posts, and you have three times a day over here, which is twenty one, you only have to highlight seven. So what I would do if I was going to create that content is I'm gonna create seven pieces of content that are gonna fit LinkedIn really well or even five pieces of content in weekdays. It's gonna fit LinkedIn really well in my X strategy. And then the other, so if I do seven, the other 14 posts for X can be a little bit toned down, more X related video and stuff like that. So it's a good way to, to do a repurposing structure. Um, but yeah, hope this helps you make your decision, whether it's X or LinkedIn, both are gonna be really good. Um, so these are just some of the pointers you need to think about if you're going to be pushing on one of these profiles. If I didn't cover anything, make sure to comment below any of your questions or anything like that, or always hit me on Twitter as well. And I'll see you guys in the next